Hi Aries, that card, Eight of Pentacles. Nice. Ten of Pentacles. Temperance. The Devil. Ace of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So starting off with the Eight of Pentacles. This is all about hard work, goals, working towards um, you know, your goals, your aspirations. This is making money, earning money, saving money, uh, accumulating finances, accumulating funds. I feel like there's a lot of wealth, abundance, things that are coming to you. This could be higher learning. This could be you working on a degree, on a master's, on a PhD, on a course, a diploma, um, a tradesmanship, a certificate of some kind. The Eight of Pentacles can also denote working on a creative pursuit, um, working with the hammer. Some of you um, out there might be laborers, might work with the hammer, with crafts, making things, jewelry, uh, tiling, roofing, bricklayer, whatever it is that you do out there. Um, this is definitely you working and honing your craft, working on your craft, honing your craft, um, and you just got your head down and you're working on it and you're absolutely doing amazing on it so keep up with the good work i definitely see there's a lot of finances around you look at these other cards you've got the ten of pentacles with the nine of pentacles this is a lot of wealth that's circulating around you aries you're either buying assets renovating assets um renting out assets um you know concentrating on your physical appearance, dressing well, visiting wonderful neighborhoods, um, you know, expanding this empire. If this is what, you know, your goals are, you're definitely achieving it this month. So that's lovely to see. Now, if this is in a romantic, um, you know, romantic aspect, you might be working very, very hard at the relationship. This could be a strong earth sign that's around you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or it could be an air sign as well, but I'm feeling for the most, or it could be in Sagittarius too, but I feel for the most part it's a very strong earth sign that's around you that you're working hard towards. You may be even starting a business with this person, um, working hard. You might meet them through work. You might be um, studying together, working together, completing a course or a diploma together, renovating your home together, working hard at the relationship so that's very positive to see. I love the Eight of Pentacles. It talks about abundance and working on yourself, expanding, you know, your business opportunities around you. So that's great. It's wonderful to wonderful to see here. <clears throat> Now, the next card over you have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is working on your finances, accumulating wealth, much like the Eight. It, do, it does talk about new beginnings, though, new ideas, being productive, um, getting involved with a family business or having your own business, getting family involved, working with families, working with homes, uh, children, adults, working at um, markets, Westfields, working within shops, the marketplace, somewhere where you can sell your product, advertise your product and or service. So Ten of Pentacles is, yeah, great to see. I definitely feel there's a lot of money around you. There's incentives. I'm not sure if you're based in a commission role, um, but there's definitely rewards coming to you in some form. Accolades, rewards, assets, um, if you're not buying a property, your family might be buying a property or your spouse or your siblings, you'll hear news of this. Um, I also feel like if this is an earth sign around you, they come from a very affluent and wealthy family. They have a lot of assets themselves, extremely established, extremely wealthy, uh, wealthy extremely um, goal-oriented and extremely practical. Almost like hitting the jackpot with this person. Um, you know, I, I want to mention there could be a bit of, you know, conceit with this person because you do have the devil card. It's not to say they're self-conceited, but they could have, you know, an aura of, uh, you know, they could be a little bit egotistical or they could have an, um, you know, this aura of cockiness perhaps even. So this is possibility. I'm not saying that this person will be this way, but there is a possibility that they might, um, and if, you know, you are dealing with an air sign, it could be someone, you know, completely different with different characteristics. But um, 
definitely family assets or a family business feel. Um, you could be visiting a lot of places as well. This could be a family reunion um, at a family home, at a vacation home, on a trip somewhere. Reuniting with the family, conjoining finances with the family and or a spouse or a partner. So that's also possible. Combining funds together. And I feel as though if, you if you're not earning this kind of money or commission, then I feel you will be in the near future Aries. I feel you just need to wait it out because there's definitely new customers or clients that are incoming. You just need to have patience because right now hard work is required until you receive this. And also temperance is also like a message for you to be really, really patient here. Um, your cup is overflowing or will be overflowing if it's not. Um, this could be a strong Sagittarius coming through here or this could be the divine orchestrating a lot of things for you behind the scenes. So if you've not, if you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet, you definitely will be in. So temperance is all about patience. If this isn't a love situation, I feel like some of you might be waiting to become exclusive, waiting to meet your uh, loved ones, friends or family or parents. I feel this is coming. You just need to wait. Um, you need to be patient. Perhaps this person isn't ready. And if they are an earth sign, this would make sense. They're very, very slow. They're very methodical um, in their approach to love. So it does oftentimes take them a long, a long time to actually, you know, get to that same stage. Maybe it takes a little bit longer than what it does for you, Aries. But I feel like you need to have temperance, um, especially if this is in, you know, if you have been working um, hard at the relationship you know, it's it's worth the wait. It's worth the fight, so to speak, here with the Ace of Swords. You know, maybe there could be times where things, you know, get tough with the Devil card. Um, you know, or you may just think it's all physical for now. There is there is a chance for it to develop into more, but it's sort of almost like you've got to. It's worth the wait, or it's worth the fight, so to speak. So I feel like if it's a person, they're worth the wait. Uh, for most of you. Now, temperance in a work situation, I feel as though blessings are coming to you. You're going to be um, at a stage or, or you're going to be attaining a certain a stage of enlightenment at work where you feel really abundant and grateful and you're being maybe excelled to a higher role, you know, earning a promotion of some kind. Um, you know, and it's all about staying grounded. Maybe it's all happening too quickly because the Nine of Pentacles is someone that's very well dressed and affluent and has a lot of money. It can be somewhat egotistical and, you know, has all these beautiful assets and, you know, very happy where he is at life. Um, not to say it's an egotistical message with this Nine of Pentacles, but in contrast with the Temperance, I feel like you will get to this stage where you will be very, very, very happy. Very, very happy. Um, in your career, with the money you're earning. Only thing is, you know, don't get too complacent. Don't get ahead of yourself with the devil card. Make sure you don't overindulge if if this is something, you know, you know you do or you know you like to do. Now, because you do have the devil card, the devil card is about overindulging. It's about addictions, um, immersing yourself into something way too much. Um, this is wrath. This is gluttony. This is, you know, greed maybe with the devil card. Um, this could also be addiction to a person, to sex, to a relationship, to a substance. So maybe this is coming as a warning to some of you. For others, this could be the person that you're dating or that you're with. They might have addiction around them. There could be a bit of control or um, manipulation or maybe you're just addicted to working hard and you're sort of, um, you know, addicted to money and you're just really money driven and want results and want that hefty paycheck and, you know, um, I, I do see you fighting for it and you're definitely on your way to earning a prestigious role and a very nice paycheck here, Aries. But it's important that you don't get, um, you know, you don't sort of sell your soul to the devil along the way. It happens with people. I'm not saying it's going to happen to you, but it does tend to happen to people. This doesn't have to be you. It could be someone around you. Maybe it's a Capricorn around you as well. Um, doesn't mean that they're addicted to something. It just means that they're prominent around you. Maybe they like to, you know, maybe they want something physical. Maybe they're really clinging to you with the chains here. Maybe there's a really strong possessiveness or clinginess to this person and you just you just want to concentrate on work and other things and this person is just demanding a lot of your attention um, as well. Or maybe you're just addicted to each other and just, you know, there's really strong lust or obsession even. 
for some of you, not all, for some. Uh, you also have the Ace of Swords. Um, now, the Ace of Swords is a battle, but it is victory. So you will come out on top. So this could be labor. This could be cutting away something that no longer serves you here with the Ace of Swords. This could be a prominent air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's around you. Maybe this person is worth the wait. This person is worth the fight. Um, you know, But you've got a crown of victory here. Um, this is the hand of God. This is a new opportunity. This is being victorious in something. It could be in, in the workplace. It could be gaining that client. It could be overcoming an addiction. It could be um, finally living in that beautiful property, finally owning that luxury designer handbag. You know, it could be a lot of things that you've been patiently waiting for um, and that you've been fighting for and hoping to manifest. And maybe it's finally here because the pentacles all represent your physical world and your physical world is showing that there's things popping up, people, money, places, ideas, events, um, circumstances, finances, etc. So the Ace of Swords is definitely, it might have been a hard journey, but you're definitely getting there. Some of you might be trying to overcome an addiction or um, trying to work hard with a Capricorn or vying for a Capricorn's attention and or love. Some of you have been trying to um, pin down a Capricorn or, you know, an earth sign or an air sign that's maybe a little bit fleeting and hard to pin down and you finally get to that stage where you cross over and you're no longer just doing the physical, you know, like really flingy type stuff. You're actually doing the hard work and committing to a serious monogamous relationship. So for some of you, that's great news, great to see, um, you know, it, that this person or this, this goal is definitely worth fighting for. This could also be control or manipulation from a person or superior person at your workplace as well. Um, you know, so that's always possible too doesn't always have to be taken in a bad context, the devil. I mean, it's not a very good card, though. Now, moving on, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is you feeling really happy where you are. There's abundance around you. You could be visiting somewhere where there's a lot of money. There's a lot of finances. People dress really well. This could be on a trip. This could be um, on a business, you know, business venture. This could be you being really happy with your finances, you buying yourself, spoiling yourself most definitely, or someone spoiling you. Um, you know, nice lingerie, you know, if you're a woman. Um, a nice gift if you're a man, you know, a nice bottle, a bike, whatever it is. But the um, a nice suit, a blazer, you know, things like this. This is being receiving gifts looking at your finances, feeling really happy where you are. Maybe you're really on track with your finances. Um, it's Maybe this is the time you look at your finances and you go, wow, I've made a lot of income. You know, I've done really well for myself. I'm going to spoil myself. You know, some of you could be taking a trip. Um, as I said, somewhere where it's very wealthy, large properties, you know, vineyards. I think of Hunter Valley when I see this card. Um you know, escaping to the countryside. This could be a lush getaway. But this is you feeling really happy with what's happening around you. There could be a bit of, you know, an egotistical feeling, but I feel it's more to do with the devil card. But, um, you know, it's something you've been working hard for. And if you believe you deserve something, then the universe will serve it, right? So, or you will serve it up on a platter to yourself. Spoil yourself if that's what you want to do, Aries, because you deserve it. It's definitely worth it. You've, you know, you're going to be victorious here, so you might as well enjoy it, bask in the glory um, of the Nine of Pentacles. This could also be someone that you meet. This could be characteristics of the person that you meet here. They could be very, very well dressed, um, like designer things, very sensual, like the finer things in life, enjoy good surroundings, enjoy taking you to places where everyone dresses really well, enjoys dressing you up maybe. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of good things for finances and career and professional professionalism. And also for love, definitely. Um, a strong attraction here could be lust or overindulgence with someone. Um, that's also possible. But definitely a lot of emphasis is being placed on your finances. So whatever goal this is, whatever you're aspiring to achieve the degree, 
the renovations, the asset that you're trying to buy, the car that you're trying to own, um, the business that you're trying to run, get started. It's, it's, it's taking time, but temperance is on your side and you will get to a point if you're not ready, if you're not already at that point where your cup is overflowing and you know, you just, you've got one foot dipped in the water here and one on ground. So you will be grounded. You won't get too carried away. You will like to overindulge in something, you know, it could be money, it could be expenses, it could be sex, something with a temperance card here, um, but you will stay grounded for the most part. Something's going to sort of bring you back to reality. It could be a person, it could be a reminder, you know, it could even be this video. <laughs> it could even be me that's reminding you to stay grounded. But the, you know, it's nice to see that you do have temperance. So patience and keeping yourself grounded. Temperance is needed or, you know, you've been temperate for so long and now it's finally things are finally coming to fruition for you and you're really excited about it so that's really really positive guys um it's been a pleasure and hopefully i shall speak to you soon thanks again